Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thanks. So what we actually have here is of critical importance, Mark. When the kids go away on vacation, Florida, Georgia, Tahoe, I don't even know where they go. We have to have someone stay with our most precious archives. Well, that sounds quite easy. For someone like me with a great family and some time to kill for writing, sounds like the perfect job. That's excellent. Is it okay if we set up your lodgings in our archives? That'll be just fine, Mr. Nelson. Fantastic. There's just one more thing, Mark. I don't suppose anyone told you about the winter of 64, did they? I don't believe anyone did. Well, my predecessor in this job hired a man. He came up here with his wife and two kids. He had great references. But then, somewhere in the middle of the winter, he ran amok and killed his wife with a bat. Well, that's quite a story. So, indeed, the uh, incident caused us to move from Germantown to Fort Washington, and some people say that you still get claustrophobic and crazed this time of year. Well, Mr. Nelson, I can assure you none of that is going to happen to me. My wife is going to be fascinated when I tell her. She's a confirmed ghost story fanatic. If you're on a highway, you're not gonna go back. Just step aside or you might end up in a heap. Beep, beep. Road runner, road runner, runs down the road all day. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Come play with us, Drewy. Forever and ever and ever.
I get joy. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you've done to me, Julie? Mark, Mark, I'm sorry. It was, it was an honest mistake. You, you don't get to make mistakes, Julie. I have been contracted by the head of Germantown Academy from December the 22nd through the 6th of January. Do you have any idea what they'll think of me? What you have done to me? Do you see him? Do you see him? No. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs>